It's May 14, 2014. You see these guys? You see this guy in the sunglasses? And this guy to his right? You see him? Sunglasses? That's our vice president. That's our vice president, Joe Biden. And his youngest son. You know, the guy that actually, with the Obamas, actually spent 40 million Forty million dollars of taxpayer money to go on vacations. Forty million dollars. The guy that actually was instrumental in, in revamping bankruptcy laws that so hurt the American people and so helped companies. You know, this, this guy that Americans actually think, some Americans still actually think that this guy is good at least he's not that bad. Joe Biden. Remember his trips over to Ukraine? On our dime, we paid for it. You know, to, to fight for the right of the Ukrainian people to have a democracy, to have a voice. That's right, their rights were so important that on our dime, Joe Biden, our vice president, went over to Ukraine to fight for their rights as we lose ours. Biden's son, Polish ex-president, quietly signed on to Ukrainian gas company. And it raises serious conflict of interest questions for Western countries, Ukraine policy. Yeah, I'd say so. Let's see, US Vice President Joe Biden's youngest son has joined the board of a gas company owned by an ally of Ukraine's fugitive ex-president Viktor Yanukovych and a key European interlocker with Kiev, who was previously president of Poland. The move raises questions about a potential conflict of interest for Joe Biden, who was the White House's main interlocker with Yanukovych while the latter was president and has since spearheaded Western efforts to wean Ukraine off Russian gas. Can you, can you smell the stench of greed that is emanating from this picture? If you're not looking at this guy's face and immediately feeling revolted, then you don't know what's happening. You do not understand that these people are out for themselves, they have their interest in mind always. They are very, very tremendously, unbelievably, overwhelmingly, incomprehensibly disturbed, mentally ill people. They have no soul. All they want is more money. Give me more money. Show me the money. Where's the money? Show me the money. That's it. So the millions that this guy has made off of the American taxpayers while he was in Congress, now as vice president, it's not enough. He needs more. He needs more money. He needs more money. He needs more money. And if he can't get it directly, then he's going to use his youngest son to do it. Wake up, America. Smell the coffee. And when you smell the coffee, take some action to go and get a cup.